The National Assembly agreed in its ordinary session today on a number of proposals submitted by its various committees, including the request tabled by the Chairman of the Committee of National Human Resources Development to extend the committee's mandate until the end of the second legislative term. The committee is in charge of studying proposals related to the end of service compensation and unification of the salary scales. The Parliament also decided to allow the Committee of Legislative and Legal Affairs and the Committee of Economic Affairs two more weeks to complete their reports regarding amendments to the law of the Authority of Equities. National Assembly Speaker Merzouk Ali Al Ghanim said His Highness Sheikh Jabir Limbarak Al Hamad Al Subah, the Prime Minister, asserted during the National Assembly session today that all materials revealed during the closed session and related to the tape will be submitted to the general prosecution today. In a statement after the meeting, Mr. Al Ghanim said the House convened in a session behind closed doors at the government's request, in which a number of deputies asked for a debate on the contents of the tape, adding that His Highness the Prime Minister briefed the National Assembly members on the background and various aspects related to the tape, in addition to screening a videotape delivered by a member of the ruling family. He pointed out that the images on the tape were not clear and distorted, while the voice on the tape was also not clear and cannot be understood. The National Assembly Speaker said His Highness the Prime Minister replied to all questions raised in the course of the debate which followed playing the tape and asserted that the materials which were shown in the session will be handed over to the General Prosecutor today. Speaker Al Ghanim said the National Assembly refused with 50 votes majority a motion to set up a parliamentary investigation committee on grounds that the General Prosecutor has banned any discussion on this subject.